Hi there, this is going to be a tutorial on making the shaker table that I make for the beginning SketchUp class. Uh, I'm going to go through it relatively quickly, but I will uh, tell you what shortcut keys I'm using, and I will make sure I spend a little time on the mortise and tenon uh, joinery that happens in this table. Alright, so let's jump right into it. Here I am in SketchUp. I'm going to create the board. This is going to be the top. This is R for a rectangle, and I'm going to make this 22 inches by 22 inches. I'm typing that in there. I'm going to pull this through. I apologize for the screen turning green. This recording program does that. I'm not sure exactly why. All right, so I pulled that through. As soon as I have something substantial, I make it a component. This is the top. This table upside is upside down right now. That's okay. I'm going to enter the top component, create, use the offset tool, I used F for that component. I'm going to offset this 1.5. This is going to let me make a bevel. L for line. Alright, now that I have the diagonals put in there. I can make my flat bevel pretty easily just by moving the edge down. Pretty much the same thing that you would do. I'm going to type in 3 8 which is half the thickness of my stock. And there I have a nice beveled board. Alright, so um, I am building this upside down because mostly you care about the joinery on the underside. So I'm going to create some legs here. All right, I'm going to type in uh, two by two. I'm going to pull these legs out to, um, let's say, 28 inches long. Now, I'm going to add a taper to these legs. Um, and to do that, I want to have a spot for the joint. Uh, that is where the taper ends. So I'm going to hit T for uh, tape measure. I'm going to come up, let's say, five inches. Oh. Now, you'll notice I started on a endpoint, I should have started on an edge. Alright, now L for line. I'm going to use this line to put these two uh, joints in there. Delete my guides. Um, let's see, control shift D. Uh, D, okay. Now, now that I have these um, joints in there. I'm going to make this a leg. Let me scroll out, scroll back in. I'm going to create a little uh, three quarters by three quarters rectangle up here. Actually, this is a two inch table. Let's do a one inch by one inch rectangle. Now, notice I'm not in the context of the leg itself. So that rectangle is not part of this leg. I'm just going to use this as a guide. So I'm going to enter that um, leg. I'm going to double click on that the bottom of that leg there. And then I'm going to hit S for scale. I'm going to scale that leg until it's the same size as that rectangle. Now notice it bent uh, based on this line. That's where the taper starts. Now as long as we're here, let's soften these lines. I'm using Shift E for that, that eraser, which basically just hides those lines. I've now left the leg. I'm going to delete that spare rectangle that's sitting on the bottom, now that I no longer need it. Okay, now we need four legs. So I'm going to create some copies. Moving this in the uh, green direction, locking on that direction. I moved in the green, so I flip in the green. Um, oh, I'm sorry, that was red. There, That was my color blindness. Control Z. Flip along red. There we go. Now I'm going to uh, shift select so that I have both these selected and move these two. And now I know that I must flip along the green. There we are. Alright, I have all four legs. I'm going to toss in some aprons here. So come down here. R for rectangle. Now notice that the in the dimensions box down here, 
that the right that the first number is a smaller number, number, the second is a larger. So that's what I should be typing in. So let's say three quarters inch stock, three quarters comma four inches. That's the cross section of, of my apron. P for pull, and there's my apron. I'm going to G call it apron. Make, make a component that is. M for move, and I'm going to move this back in this same direction. This um, I think that's probably the green direction, by red direction. Okay. And then I'm going to just type in one eighth, so that just moved it back an eighth for a shadow line. Now, as long as I'm at it, I'm going to move this over, a copy it over actually, again using the inference of that red direction to lock it in and move it back an eighth and then I need to flip it in the red direction. Alright, um, now let's take this piece, this apron, this is a square table, we can get away with this and we are going to do a copy 90, a copy rotate 90 degrees. We're then going to move it into place. Now, since I rotated it, what was the red direction uh, is now looks like the green direction, but still inside the component, still the red direction. So I need to flip along component red. Let's move it back for our shadow line. Rotate this whole thing around. Lock in the component direction. Let's try this again here. Okay, I need to rotate this up so I can do this a little bit better. There we are. Constrained to that outside. And then move it back an eighth. Uh, now I definitely need to flip that again along the red component. All right, now just to verify, let's enter this component. Hit B, and just for a moment, let's paint the outside a color and make sure all our outsides are the same color. Good. Now I'm going to undo that. Now we basically have the table done, but we want to make sure that we have um, our joinery. We want to do our Morse and tenon joinery. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to. Uh, I'm editing this apron. I'm going to come up here, view, component edit, hide rest of model. All right. Notice that Shift R was my shortcut for that. So I'm going to, from now on, use Shift R to go back and forth between hiding the rest of the model and not hiding it. All right. So we want to put a tenon on the end of this thing. Tape measure, T for tape measure. A guideline. Now this is three quarters of the way across. I want one quarter of that or three sixteenths to the outside of it, one quarter to the inside of it, so that's another three sixteenths. Some reasonable distance down, let's say half an inch. Some reasonable distance up, and let's say half an inch. R for rectangle, and there is the face of my of, that's going to become my tenon. Now I'm going to get rid of all those extra guidelines. Now I'm going to pull this thing out. Oop. I want to select that and pull that out. Now we can see that if I pull it more than an inch and 5 sixteenths, they're going to intersect. So let's just say 1 inch. Now they're not intersecting at all. Now I'm going to grab this piece. I'm going to group it. Not a component, but a group. Then I'm going to do a move copy on it. Constrain it to the green direction. Come in here. Pop it in place. Flip along green direction and explode it. Good. Copy. Come back here. Explode this one. Okay. 
we now have a nice board there, a nice apron. When I come in out of that component, I enter the leg. I'm going to paste in place. I have a shortcut, shortcut for that, but I want to make sure you could see me doing it. I paste in place, and lo and behold, there's the mortise. I'm going to erase this excess line here. I'm going to right click orient faces to make sure that all the SketchUp faces are in place. I'm going to come over here to this side. I'm going to copy, edit this one. Oh. Let's try that again. Edit this one, copy, paste in place. Erase some of these extra lines, orient faces, and that should be it. If I do x-ray, there should be more intended joinery on all corners, and it looks like there is. Great. So that is, oh, that, oh, that is the table right there. All right, thank you very much.